According to the State of Food Security and Nutrition in the World 2021 report, India had about 195 million undernourished people, majority of whom are women and children. Despite government programs, fast-track interventions and task forces, malnutrition, stunting, wasting and nutritional deficiencies among women and children continue to figure prominently in the Global Hunger Index and National Family Health Survey NFHS5. Improving maternal child health nutrition and adolescent health has been an integral part of Sicaria's mission since 1998. A comprehensive approach is adopted for each of our projects, as nutritional issues are not just about lack of food and resources but also about lack of access, knowledge, information, dietary habits, socio-cultural dynamics, and gender aspects. Working in the villages and urban slums of Delhi, Haryana, and Rajasthan we come across many women who do not access any medical help, even during childbirth. The reasons are manifold, lack of awareness, lack of support from the family, unavailability of reliable services within close geographical proximity and an overall low socioeconomic status in the society which in turn translates into a low health-seeking behavior. Therefore, Sicaria tries to bring basic healthcare services to the doorstep of women living in some of the underserved areas of Delhi, Haryana and Rajasthan. The critical 1,000-day window is the key to preventing malnutrition. Hence, Sicarius Health Clinic provides ANC and PNC checkups, counseling regarding the importance of colostrum through breastfeeding within an hour of birth, exclusive breastfeeding during the first six months of life followed by complementary feeding with minimum dietary frequency, diversity and adequacy etc. Couple counseling sessions with doctors and nutritionists are highly successful. IEC exhibitions are organized through posters on MCH, nutrition and personal hygiene and sanitation. Sicaria's innovative approach to safe and nutritious food is to translate healthy food choices into good health throughout our life cycle. Nutrition centers established in the villages have had significant impact. Cooking demonstration workshops are organized at the community level by nutritionists, so that healthy cooking methods are learned by as many people within the village as possible. Locally available low-cost nutritious food grains, leafy vegetables and fruits are promoted together with use of lemon juice in dal and subzi and use of iron vessels to enhance iron absorption. Special care is taken to involve pregnant and lactating mothers and those who are anemic in order to take advantage of the critical 1,000-day window that is the key to preventing malnutrition before the child is born and thereafter. Nutrition-related pamphlets, posters, and recipe books are provided. Key to Sicaria's impact are the regular follow-up home visits by community health workers to stress nutritional intake, regular ANC checkups, promotion of institutional births etc. The communities acknowledge the benefit of cooking demonstrations and practices, cooking and iron utensils and advice regarding early and exclusive breastfeeding and complementary feeding. We are proud that our work, based on local partnerships, communities identifying and implementing their solutions, engaging men in RCH programs a critical omission in mainstream discourse and most importantly, equipping women with the vital tool of knowledge. In a patriarchal family system where men control all of the economic and social decision-making powers, Sicaria's strategy in educating and involving both men and women regarding key health issues and enabling them to make decisions has proven successful. Sicaria also stresses the importance of hygiene, hand washing and sanitation to prevent the onset of diarrhea and disease. In all our interventions we try to work with the government system to ensure that linkages are strengthened on the ground and that we supplement the government's efforts in ensuring quality health for all. We conduct technical training programs for ASHA workers and Anganwadi workers on counseling, providing awareness and improving service delivery. Training programs are also conducted for PRI members. Recognizing that healthy habits start young, Sicaria has been conducting health education sessions in schools targeted at improving nutrition, hygiene and personal health to combat anemia. Rallies, competitions, talks etc. are conducted. Over the past 24 years Sicaria has reached more than 6 million women and children living in more than 650 villages and 120 slums by partnering with individuals, funding agencies and corporates through its multiple project implementations in Delhi, Haryana, and Rajasthan. Our constant endeavor is to better the lives of underprivileged women and children and adolescent girls. Mira says, food and nutrition is the most powerful tool to change the current world situation that has happened because of the pandemic. It is absolutely essential to avoid hunger crisis, malnutrition, and other related aftereffects. It is our foremost priority to tackle hunger and malnutrition right now especially due to the pandemic. Organizations involved in the social development sector, funding agencies and corporates should be involved in the delivery of services with a strong sense of duty and work in a time-bound and accountable manner. Let us pledge to commit to fight hunger and malnutrition right now to avoid to the a humanitarian crisis.